Oh, so this is a bit special. Um, it's a 2003 110 TD5 County. Um, it's got just over 77,500 miles on the clock. Um, and it's finished in that lovely Tonga green. Uh, it's got boost alloys, Goodyear MTR, tyres, uh, lamp guards, side steps, techno cloth interior. It's nine seater. We've got every single receipt from the order receipt from Lancaster of Reading all the way through to a service a matter of weeks ago. All beautifully filed. And most importantly, there are some extraordinary options on this that make it an incredibly usable TD5. Um, I'll just sort of point one out. If you look in there or up, if I can pan up, up there, look at the chassis. So that has been done by Buzzweld and it's a two and a half thousand pound rust proof treatment. They remove all suspension, fuel tanks, cross members, everything. Strip the chassis right back. Um, I'll show you the invoice. Um, but it's, it's unbelievable the amount of work that's gone into this car. There's a Roma drive, which is a mechanical um, overdrive in every gear, but just use it in, as a sixth. Uh, it's tuned stage one to sort of 150, 160 brake horsepower with a um, centre silencer delete and um, stainless downpipe. So, sounds wonderful like all TD5s do, but just, I mean, I think it's almost unrepeatable, this thing. You know, TD5 County in this condition, look at the interior. It is absolutely immaculate. And this here, that's the key, that's the mechanical Roma drive there. So you've got your normal gearbox, high and low range and diff lock, and then this is the Roma drive. So you just declutch and slap it in, there you go. So, all unmolested inside which is so nice to see just as it was and it's been a local car pretty much its whole life it was ordered by a family in Kimbury uh, and I've just bought it off a chap um, uh, nearby as well so yeah lovely thing uh, fully soundproof as well I don't know if you can see the dynamat down there so it's fully soundproofed um, throughout uh, and it has a sunroof as well which doesn't leak amazing <laughs> um, look the bodywork is not perfect there's a few little tiny dings but god you don't want to chuck paint on a car like this um so adjustable suspension too those shocks are four-way adjustable um well, have a look at that chassis it's unreal and if we look up here sorry this car hasn't been prepped yet so i should point that out there you go have a look at that rear cross member um so we haven't done our sort of normal stainless steel bolts or anything as, as yet. They've been done along the, cross, or the rear cross member, but um, not by us. So we'll replace those because they've used crappy washers. Um, but all these ones will be replaced. This is very standard. Even on a sort of 2013 Defender, these all go. We'll replace those. Capping has gone a little bit here and a little bit worse on this side. Um, again, really don't want to start lobbing huge amounts of paint or ripping the capping off. You're going to remove the roof. So we, we will make that better, but... Um, that's a cross member there, look at that. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Um, a really, really, really special car. Uh, look at the back here. Let me um, go into the boot and show you. So first of all, it's got proper four folding seats. And here is the history file. If I just scan down, if I can open it one-handed. So we'll just, uh, there's the, uh, the log book uh, with three former keepers. There's the new, new order form back in, gosh, when was that? 14th of March, 2003. Um, every single receipt. I won't bore you with the details, all of them, but let's just put it this way. It's been serviced absolutely on the button every time. Um, let's get to some of the um, the later ones here. So it's had before and after rust proofing. Uh, please excuse the noise of the grain cart going by. Um, right, so a couple of things here. So it's got a programmable 
programmable wiper relay. So it means that the wiper is not just an intermittent. You can program the um, the delay on it. It's got a boom slang headlight loom, which means that the the headlights are super um, super bright. Um, it has uh, a Roma drive overdrive, which is a hugely expensive piece of kit. And this is some of the more recent um, service work. You can see here it's a full 72 mile service. Um, and that was a transfer box and differential. Um, door latches were replaced. Um, then there was a, a list of jobs here, including headlamps of no beam direction, overdrive not working, rear shock absorbers weak, slight oil leak, drive shafts, tie bars, all tyres misshapen, etc. etc. So, four adjustable shocks um, ordered, and the entire list of work done there. So, 3,000. £760 worth of work done uh, 3rd of May 2019 at 77,000 miles. Um, and then this is the uh, the overdrive or Roma drive. So it's made in by a company in um, Vancouver, actually, in, in Canada. Uh, and it is unbelievable how good that thing is now, especially with the remap. God, it drives so well. And um, here we have the Buzzweld chassis proofing, uh, sorry, rust proofing. God, I'm not concentrating today. I'm so excited by this one. Uh, £2,390. Um, it is the most extraordinary level of detail on this service history. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and it was serviced uh, 23rd of June uh, 2020. Um, so, yeah, just an amazing, amazing car. I think it must be a one-off. I mean, it's unrepeatable in this spec with that overdrive, with that chassis. The chassis treatment alone is just fantastic. I've never seen detail like it. I'll, I'll upload a link uh, to how much detail they go into when they do that chassis. But it's it's the best rust proof rust proofing you can do. Forget Dinatrol, forget all that stuff. And these guys are renowned, and the level of detail is extraordinary. Yes, there are a few little marks, but you know, it's a 17 year old car. I think it's best not to start slapping paint all over these things and just appreciate it for what it is. It's a fantastic driving and sounding uh, TD5. And uh, oh my God, just come and have a look at it. Really, really special. Um, we love it. We're gonna do a few bits and pieces, stainless bolts, etc., uh, mud flat brackets. But yeah, very, very, very special car. And I think the TD5s are actually going to become much more of a collector's item than the uh, the later Pumas. They just seem to have a bit more of a following. They're a bit more Fender-like. Uh, just one quick thing. They've even got the old-fashioned air conditioning, i.e. the vent flaps on the bulkhead. Yeah, we love that. Um, give us a call. Uh, it's a one-off. So excited to have this in stock. Uh, yeah, fantastic thing. I'll try and uh, get a video of it driving now. Cheers, mate. Just for those of you that want to hear the um, or the TD5. We're in overdrive, fifth, sixth at the moment. And it pulls, pulls very well. Obviously on a private road at the moment. 